Hello, YouTube, and we are back today. Loki episode three revealed that everyone, everyone in, in the TVA is a, is a variant. What? What? What is happening? What? Minds collectively blown. Exploded. Insanity. Not exploded. Completely. Much like the Lamentus is about to be. But yes, we digress. So obviously, episode Ooh, three. We had to come back. Crazy and episode amazing. Episode three was great. The big. Uh, there was a lot of really cool stuff that was revealed kind of through conversation and through different different mechanisms. But the big the reveal. The big reveal. Yes. Was in fact the fact that everyone in the TVA is a variant, mm -hmm. and they don't know that. And they don't know. How does that work? You might ask. Well, we have no idea, but that is why we are here to talk about it. <laughs> we have no idea because what? Like yeah, what? where? Why? Where? Where? Are they people who, when they're like branch was reset instead of being completely reset with it they were brought to the tva is it some kind of prison for like people that committed a certain kind of infraction they were like reprogrammed kang to have to be there they i mean there are so many questions yes there are so many questions so many questions and also obviously with finding out that that story of all of them being created, of of them being created in the TVA not being true. Baloney. Yeah, the whole thing is completely baloney. The whole thing. Their whole cute it's little. In the beginning, there was a. It's all. A sto I mean, it's all yeah. fake. It's all false. It's all propaganda. Which, you know, they had that little they note on the bottom, on the but. Bottom, but like. Yeah. We thought there might have been some semblance of truth. So but, I mean, we've been being fed a big load of falsehood. Yeah. up to this point and I mean that sort of changes the whole game and like leaves it pretty wide open as far as who the timekeepers are and what the TVA is what and the what TVA. their play is and what's happening yes because that no one except maybe Ravana knows mm -hmm. and on the topic of her does she know that she's a variant yeah, so that was my first reaction was that she's not a variant and she knows what's going on. Like okay. she's sort of to make a really terrible analogy, she's like the TVA Pope. You know how like the Pope is supposed to be like the closest one to God, the timekeepers being God, like so like she knows what's really going on and she's kind of like keeping the 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 flock moving in the way that they need to keep moving that was my first re reaction because i don't trust her instinctively for some reason no, although I don't trust her i i really enjoy her character i just i don't i don't know i don't think she's being particularly forthcoming i don't trust her either but i i do think she might be a variant mm -hmm. and having to work for the tva is punishment for messing up the timeline because ravana often goes around wrecking time along with Kang. With Kang. So yeah, either, uh, I feel like either of those are, are either of those work. viable, valid options and it will remain to be seen kind of what her mm -hmm. deal is. But besides Ravana, like, what do we think? Who are all the rest of those people? Like, C20 is at the, like, old school version of TGI Fridays having potato skins and margaritas. Like, she was a regular chick <laughs> on Earth. Regular human. Like, why? Why is she there? Why was she chosen to be sent there? What's, yeah. what's her story? And if everybody and everything in the everyone. TVA is a variant, then who or what was Miss Minutes? What? What? Or, or is she a construct of the timekeepers? Or is she, in fact, an AI? To sort of keep things going. I, this episode, to me, brought up more, more quest questions, so many questions. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you have thoughts, have thoughts, share them with us. Share them, yes. We also, who's Mobius? 
who was Mobius. And was he in another variation a jet ski dealer? Is or really is he in another variation a jet ski dealer? The most important yes. question. Or like a jet ski racing champion. Is that a thing? Mm, it should be a thing. It if it's not, thing. I don't know. It's probably a thing. I've been on a jet ski like once with another person, but... I think they're kind of fun. I have also only been on them once, but I think they're kind of fun. Yeah. I mean, it's good stuff. All right. Yeah. So I think it will uh, play out and sort of give us some insight yes. into who all of these people are and why they were sent there as In opposed particular. to being reset erased. or erased like or most yeah of the rest of i don't know the variants of the I'm, I'm interested to to yeah. see how that all plays out yes mm, very interested yes and one of the other um points that we, we noticed after about. um after that conversation between loki and sylvie yeah sylvie also sylvie so also. we're thinking yes. maybe maybe enchantress a lady loki enchantress kind of merged hybrid right because they were in the same comic run yes um was that loki as they're they're running to try to get to the ark Whoa. loki had some new magical powers yeah. that we had not seen him have so before a building comes crashing down and it looks like it's going to smoosh them flat but loki just does this and the building like stands back up and it looks like the broken stones are reverted into where they were before that is not just like holding up the building until they get under it and then letting it fall and shatter. He like almost reversed time and fixed it. So, did he steal one of the time stones from the drawer without Casey noticing? Did Casey notice and because Casey assumed they were powerless rocks, didn't care? Just not care, thought he needed a paperweight for his desk. Yeah, that was definitely some Doctor Strange style. Style magic magic which makes me curious if he pocketed some um, some infinity some stones into his heart with the temp pad hard to say to his heart <laughs> yes where do you have it hidden in my, my heart that was funny yeah there were a lot of really good i mean I, they obviously had to set those two up as like kind of jabbering at each other yeah. like a little on couple style but beyond that there were some really cute and clever good. like back yeah. and forth moments which you know i mean i've said this about every episode like such a big part of the draw to this show for me is how well written it is and how fully sort of fleshed out and human we're finding out all these characters are that we've known you know from big battle sequences and and little snippets of backstory before like that you know we're really finding out these shows allow them to be entirely more about out. yeah their humanity and i loved a lot of those little moments of conversation between loki and sylvie and him showing her the fireworks that you know how frigga used to do fun little magic for him and her not remembering her mom them kind of comparing notes about about their lives their different histories and backstories being sort of two different two sides different of the same things. coin as it were yeah um and like what causes Sylvie to be a variant Loki? Is it just because she's not a dude? Right, like or was like... she, was her being born as Laufey's daughter and not Laufey's son the variation and consequently that's why she's always been running? Has, did she do something as a young she do person that caused her to need to run? Yeah, I'm very interested yeah. in finding out more of her story because in one of the clips in the trailers we saw a really young a young girl loki looking girl TV, loki yeah, yeah. So, so i feel like maybe in the coming episodes we're gonna find out a little bit more about her story yeah um except that now um there, the temp pad is busted the temp pad is gone there's no more time doors the no arc time doors. was hit with a meteor the arc is shattered and Lamentis One is about to be destroyed, so, so it remains to be seen how they're gonna get off the planet. Right. If Loki actually stole time stones, can, can he, he just reverse time do something with that? Is like how will that work? The TVA gonna like casually catch up to them and like bring them back? Are they according to logic from the previous episodes? No matter what they do. As long as the planet is about to be destroyed, it won't cause any variation, so it wouldn't draw the TVA any. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know what their way out is. Um, is it maybe because they're both technically 
gods they could survive in space for a while. Possibly. So like the planet's destruction like propels they, them all. Does Loki still have the power to call the Bifrost? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this ends for them, but it's looking grim. It's looking quite grim. For yes. our anti heroes. Um so I'm definitely anxious to see how that what happens next out. week. Um mm -hmm. if you guys have thoughts, ideas, Let's theories, see. share them with us because yeah, we love to talk about Loki nerd stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh other than that, nerd I think stuff. We're going to be back next week to talk about Loki some more. But you'll probably be back, be back in between. I'll with probably be back in between with something. Other good stuff. I'm thinking of a one take trying to sculpt a face. Trying to sculpt facial structure. Yeah, you haven't put up any art content yet. Any art stuff. Yeah. Stay tuned for art content. Yes, stay tuned for art stuff. Cool. And in the meantime, everybody have a delightful weekend. Yes. This uh we're winding up Pride Month this weekend. Mm -hmm. They're having they're having Pride in Hershey, PA, y'all. If any of y'all are from here or have ever been here, you know that's a thing. So we're gonna hit that up because yeah. what? Um and otherwise just otherwise be safe, stay healthy, yes. have a great weekend. We'll see you guys later. See you next time. Like, subscribe, thank you for watching. Bye.